my name is Frank Brozovich. I'm a consultant in the Division of Cardiovascular Diseases at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I'm one of the authors of the review article, HEFPEF, A Disease of the Vasculature, A Closer Look at the Other Half. Uh, for those clinicians that are not cardiologists, HEFPEF is heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. And heart failure is a clinical syndrome. About 50% of the patients have reduced ejection fractions, that is ejection fractions less than 50%. Uh, those patients benefit from guideline therapy, which include ACE inhibitors, ARBs, beta blockers, spirolactone, uh, and AICDs if their ejection fractions is low enough. The other half of the population has preserved ejection fractions, that is, ejection fractions greater than 50%. And although the mortality and morbidity of the two groups is similar, Treatment of HEF-REF has been shown to improve survival and decrease symptoms, where treatment of HEF-PEF, uh, we have not demonstrated any treatment to be of clinical benefit. What we attempted to do in this article is summarize the data which could suggest that HEF-PEF is a vascular disease rather than a disease of cardiac muscle. In fact, all of the clinical trials to date have not shown any clinical benefit in treating HEF-PEF which would suggest that we may be treating the wrong target. Our article goes into detailed signaling pathways, both in cardiac muscle and in vascular smooth muscle, and suggests that there could be changes in vascular smooth muscle signaling, which cause a change in vascular stiffness, and this may result in the syndrome of HEF-PEF. Uh, some of our suggestions are there could be changes in nitric oxide sensitivity caused by changes in protein expression and changes in stiffness could be due to changes in expression of myosin, especially in upregulation of non-muscle myosin. There have been clinical trials that have suggested an increase in stiffness as people age, and this has been done if to Carcluo in our department here at Mayo Clinic. And in cardiac smooth muscle, although trials of the nitric oxide pathway have undertaken, these have not demonstrated any clinical benefit. Uh, we argue taking data from Deegan et al., as well as Franz Hoffman and Joe Bebo, uh, to suggest that the target of the PDE trials uh, is not expressed in cardiac muscle, which would give a molecular mechanism to, to show that these trials uh, would not be effective. Um, so as a next step, we say we think we should look at the vascular and HEF-PEF patients and determine what are the changes in the molecular level, which may reveal novel treatment uh, targets for future uh, investigation. Well, um, myself and the other co-author hopes that you enjoy the article, and the article gives you some things to ponder regarding heart failure and possible new clinical trials or new molecular mechanisms. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.